What's going on everybody C4? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have episode 46 of our Vancouver Grizzlies Madden 22 franchise in the wild world of pink slips. Today it is the AFC championship game the 13 and 4 87 overall vancouver grizzlies going up against the 9 and 8 85 overall new england patriots could end up being a very close matchup looking at the overall ranks it's our top five offense going against their top 10 offense it's their top 10 rushing offense going against our top 10 rushing offense they're almost a top 10 defense and really i mean if you had to give the biggest disadvantage is our passing defense is 32nd we have the we give up the most passing yards in the nfl and we'll see if mac jones can take advantage of that but before we even preview this matchup we need to talk about the destruction which was the divisional round game 55 to 23 we beat the baltimore ravens and that was a game that let's be completely honest um you know it was lamar jackson they had, there was, I think we got 31 points in the second quarter. There was three interceptions or two interceptions and a sack fumble that resulted in a touchdown. The game just got real ugly real early. And from that matchup, we have a defense. We have players of the week. Chuba Hubbard got offensive player of the week. Lamb on the defensive side of the ball got defensive player of the week. Both of these players get themselves some upgrades. They both get a plus two at a non-athletic attribute. So let's go do that right now. We didn't do it at the end of the last episode. Uh, so first up is Chuba Hubbard. I mean, he's 99s across the board. There's only so much that you could spend. There's only so much that you can improve at this point. It's just kind of really making him the complete running back. And I'll say this. If we don't win the Super Bowl this year, we have another year of Chuba Hubbard doing the damn thing. Um, I, I, I don't look forward to seeing, you know, the, the kind of players he's going to turn into because he is already just that unstoppable I'm, I'm gonna give that plus two to trucking just because that's the lowest aspect of his game and i would like it the occasional you know huge massive break tackle knock a guy on his ass and we don't really get what you have right now it's more so you know he fights for extra yardage or it gets cleaned up and he uses his speed and it's just home run hit after home run hit so for desmond lamb we also get to give him a plus two and he's really not a different spot of his game than where Chuba hubbard is at 99 x factor he's 77 superstar so let's give him, you know, hey, something easy, plus two tackling, but brings him up to a 78 overall. But that's a nice little transition point, talking about the linebackers, because you guys voted on what players we were stealing away from the Baltimore Ravens, and here's what you decided. So it was a plus 20, and this is how we absolutely can really transform the remainder of our linebacking core. Because you gotta remember, our punishment was uh, two episodes ago, three episodes ago. Was it even maybe longer than that? Last week of the season... Basically, we had to do uh, roll the worst playbooks in the game. That was our punishment. We rolled the Detroit Lions defense. And at face value, they're a 4-3 defense, but they have a lot of 3-4 concepts. And my team is not built to really handle those 3-4 concepts. We've kind of been fished out of water a little bit. So to spend our plus 20, we're going to continue to transform this defense. First up, we're going to be signing the veteran Dante Hightower. We might have been some good insider trading here as we get ready to take on the Patriots. He might have been able to say a little bit of like you know how to prepare. Uh, but we're going to setting the veteran 34 star 78 and we're going to be getting a massive upgrade bringing in 89 x factor patrick queen again just you know hey if things don't go well if somehow we get upset by the patriots or we go to the super bowl and lose that one um these are the kind of players who are going to make things and life a lot easier if we have to take this to a year five or whatever happens in year five so patrick queen that's a big get for the middle of this defense and then we're going to send tyrese parker who's been playing out of position like he's a run stuffing 4-3 outside linebacker he's been trying to pass rush a little bit not a strength of his game and we're going to spend plus nine to get odafe owe still on that star dev but freak of nature s tier athlete 90 speed 92 acceleration you got the 90 power move much more suited for a 3-4 linebacking core so with those two moves we've you know our linebacking core is absolutely lit right now and shout out to Ben Patterson for coming through with the top suggestion. Also, he threw in, hey, Sosh will play great if he changes his abilities to Acrobat and One Step Ahead. Hmm. No, no, that's what we're looking for. You already had Acrobat on, but we'll go ahead and give him One Step Ahead here. And also, knowing that information, Andrew Booth is sitting there. Superstar. Can we also give him, like, at least the, just the meta abilities? Acrobat and, ah. Uh, 85 slot can't get that yet for andrew booth but good to know maybe that's where we start following his points in there six more points to the slot we could do that so here's our linebacker again the thing that kind of just sucks is like 
we'd have to go we'd have to like we just we just need to be aware of what plays we're calling in here because uh there's too many times that we're in the three four front we don't have ed oliver ed oliver and aid hudson need to be on the field all right we now have our third x factor which is the limit for the defense side which is great we're now kind of maxing that out a little bit but there's way too much times that it's like all of these three, which makes sense. If you're going for a front three, that's what you'd be rocking with right there. And not enough Aiden Hutchinson. So uh, we'll pay attention to what we're calling here and make sure our best players are on the field. Because you know what? If you know who's gonna, you know who's gonna realize that our best players are on the field? Fucking Bill Belichick. When we take on the Patriots here, they will expose us if we are not up to the task. So it is time. Let's get through our weekly strategy here. Take a look at what the best plan of attack is against the Patriots. I assume they're going to try to foot the, throw the football on us. But look at that. They have the 26 pathing offense, so maybe they won't be. Maybe that's not something they want to kind of uh, target here just a little bit. It's not really that good, man, to be honest with you. So we will... Uh, let's defend the run. Sure. Let's trust this game plan here. And how we want to attack them. Well, they're pretty good. They're actually not the best against the run. 14th in rush yards allowed. They do got Fletcher Cox doing the damn thing there. But sure, no, this could be a game, especially with our rookie quarterback, that we might want to just kick our feet up a tad and let Chuba Hubbard carry the load. Let him be the main focal point of the offense. I'll have no problem. If they end up stopping Chuba Hubbard, and that is how we lose this game, I'm fine with that. You know, kind of like watching the Miami Heat, Boston Celtics game seven. There was a bad shot taken by Jimmy Butler. It was a shot that it was, it was just bad. But it was a three-pointer to win it as the last shot in the game. If you're the Miami Heat... And there's one guy that earned the right. The one guy you want to trust just to say, all right, it's a bad shot, but you know what? Let, let him take it. It's Jimmy Butler. So that's kind of the same thing here. If we're going to win or lose, it's going to be the back on Chupa Hubbard. And I can accept win or loss with that in mind. So let's keep upgrading our team here. A bunch of guys feeling like they're getting ready to play their best football against the New England Patriots. And Freight Train Schmidt got himself. Um, again, we're... <laughs> Improviser, we need escape. I don't even know if I need escape artists because he is absolutely not a scrambling quarterback as much as he's been miscast here a little bit with the freight train ability. Uh, but we'll take that. Agility, awareness, throw accuracy short, throw on the run, throw under pressure. Nice little abilities there for FTS. That is all the hype we can do. The Patriots are a solid team. I think, especially with our momentum right now, we're going to be expected to kick the living shit out of them. But you never know. You just never know in these types of situations. So let's get into the AFC Conference Championship. The Grizzlies versus the Patriots. Okay, Bill. Take it away, Chuba Hubbard. All right, we got ourselves a third and four. Let's say Claypool deep. No safety over top. If not, I think that might open a space there for Spellman to get an easy first down. They drop back, so we'll take the shot. I don't know. I think Claypool should have had that. Punt. Get out of here. Get out of here, Ed Oliver. Big time TFL. Try to slow down this rushing attack. Bring another safe play here. Third and three. That's close. I think it's going to be fourth and inches. And they are going to probably play like wimps. Should go for it. Oh, they are. I respect that, man. Let's go. We see if we can blitz with Patrick Queen here. Oh, let's go. Turnover. Uh, that's a turnover, too. That goes for pink scoring. All right, another third down. Get him kind of looking at Kyle Pitts here. That gets eaten alive. Can ah, fuck. I wanted to go Chuba Hubbard, but there was like too much traffic over the middle there. Guys just probably baiting us. Fletcher Cox gets the sack and a very slow start for the Grizzly offense. Jesus, fuck me. Oh! I can. Like, literally. We get tackle, break a tackle, try to bounce the other side. They, I, they were making it very difficult to run the football. And now we just got a shot play. Third and seven on our seven. Let's take a shot. I think we got a pit. We go Huffman, uh, and why is that a worm burner? Like that throws like my quarterback had zero stamina left, and he, he was sucking for fucking wind. 
It can barely complete the pass. No. Like, unbearable, man. All right, let's go, D. Bail us out. And I had no other option. I would have just... I would have played that safe. And it was like, no, three Hail Mary plays. Make it work. Give me that. There we go. One pick back. Pick six. Take it. And he, and he goes for the one-hander for some fucking reason? Unbelievable! Alright, thank God he threw it right. Back to... I mean, it's Lamar Jackson all over again. He's imploding. I don't know why we're getting back-to-back -back runs. Runs have not been working. But again, passes haven't been working. Throw a little stiff arm there. Get a first down. Third and in inches, of course. Let's go C4 special here. To the left! Well, let me audible it. Fucking aud Come on. Oh, let's go! Who else? You need a touchdown, you go to 30. A little bit of blitz here, but it comes... You know, it could come back to buddies in the ass, but maybe not. Third and seven. Let's be aggressive. And uh, way too aggressive. Let's draw back coverage here. Oh! I don't, I, you know, I'm not bad at that. We were, that was literally 50 50. Either he, Gibson, caught it, or that was going to be a pick six. Ah, way she goes. Like, where? Like, what is That's not even close. Like, why is my throw power nerfed? I'm shocked right now. You mean it's like 91, 92 throw power and he can't get it like deeper than 30 fucking yards? Third and 11. We get absolutely stuffed and almost picked off there. And we force a punt. Man, just... Not high level gameplay here today, I'll tell you that. But uh, you can't throw the ball with any sense of confidence. Can't run the ball with any form of confidence. I, you just stick with the run. Oh, there we go. And there's the biggest, most explosive play we've had today. Excluding the touchdown. Alright, third and two. Let's keep it on the ground. Run it straight at Fletcher Cox. We even had his later years still very dominant defensive lineman. And there's... Here we go for it. They're fourth and three, almost midfield. I would not hate going for this. Of course, we're going to punt it. Can we get a gong? Let's go live here. Six wind. Okay. Eh, that should be close. Technically, it will count as a gong, but not, not what I want. All right, so pretty good play calls here. Third and six. We'll go slot cross. Um... Pitts, maybe? First down Pitts. Look for him at the sticks. At it. <laughs> ah, wow. Vinovich gets the... Sa I mean, if you like defensive play, it's been pretty strong on both sides. Offensively, not so much. All right, we got them at third and long. I mean, the good thing is, for as bad as we have been on offense, the Patriots have been pretty much our equal. Oh, he gets jumped! Patrick Queen! Go! Let's... Go, Patrick Queen, debut game. Pick six, 39 yards. That's what we need, man. Uh-oh. Wheels might be falling off for the Patriots here. Especially when you get the run game going because they're tired on defense. Finally, it's Madden, the third option. Finally. Feels like the biggest play of the game, 38-yard catch. There you go. Ah, that's probably going to do it, man. Given the Patriots offense, that's probably going to do it. I don't want to say given the Patriots offense. Given our defense, I don't think we're giving up any more points here today. Come on, get it. 
Oh, that's just oh, that's just shitty Madden right there. But Ed Oliver deserved that big play. Game over. Win it on defense. Oh my god. You know, look at the scoring. I wasn't in. I, you know, I didn't know what to expect. But uh, it ended up being pretty good. You can get big pink slip scores by doing fuck all offensively. That's what we found out here today. We won the game. We won by 14, which is worth one and a half stars. We had the turnover battle, which is worth a half star. Looking at our player stats, a forgettable game for Freight. A Joe Flacco Ravens-esque performance here. Getting the playoff victory with 54 yards passing, one interception, uh, 11 QBR. But... Chuba Hubbard going over 100 yards, two rushing touchdowns is one full star. And on the defensive side, man, big time scores. Two sacks for Trevon Walker is worth half a star. Three total interceptions is worth one and a half star. Patrick Queen's interception was a defensive touchdown, which is worth one full star. And look at this, four gongs from Matt Ariza. Two gongs is worth half star. So four gives us a full star. We didn't even need this scoring. Ends up being a seven star performance. So a plus 10 upgrade and a spin at the wheel ahead of a trip to the Super Bowl. All right, so we're going to spin the wheel before we do anything, before we can figure out who the hell we're taking on in the playoffs. Again, we're still this in a spot right now where we just, there's one option you don't want, and that's the dev increase, I think. And we get monsters. So what that means is on top of our plus 10 that we have earned by Be the Patriots, we get to take an Ash Brute from a player, apply it to the same position on our squad, as long as it's not Huffman, our wide receiver, as long as it's not Freight Train Schmidt, as they have already got their monster upgrades this season. So for our plus 10 to make it work, I had to bend the rules just slightly. There was no real good upgrades. The Patriots roster is kind of shit, to be honest with you. So I took Mark Lewinsky, moved him into center, where he's a 75 center veteran at this point, 32 years old. And we're going to be able to flip that for a just a straight up plus 10 upgrade, getting Rod Barnett, 85 star dev center out of UCLA, improving the anchor to our offensive line. Now, for you guys to vote on, we're going to look at all of the potential Monstars upgrades. And then to finish up the episode, we'll send to the Super Bowl and figure out who we are taking on. All right, so now let's talk about the Monstars. There's going to be a lot of information kind of coming at you right here. So I will pin in the comment section below all of the potential upgrades that we could have and we're going to start at the running back room first up it's damian harris and we're going to take a look at his 93 trucking which if we gave that to chuba hubbard that would represent a plus 16 upgrade to chuba hubbard's trucking and really just make him unstoppable even more so than what he is right now or another area of the game we could get better we're looking at antonio gibson who was a converted wide receiver and his 76 short route running which would be a plus nine to chuba hubbard's route running and maybe you could make him a little bit more versatile on passes out of the backfield a wide receiver we're gonna take a look at curtis samuel and we're gonna look at his acceleration 94 acceleration would represent a plus five to chase claypool's acceleration claypool currently sitting at 89 so at 6'4", 240, maybe going from 89 to 94 in the acceleration department could make Claypool that much more OP. The offensive line, I think, is where the biggest upgrades could present themselves. So first up, we're going to look at Tyron Smith here. We're looking at his 95 run block, and that would be plus 22 to an NPF. Nicholas Petitfriere, our current starting left tackles, run blocking. Even though we're looking for a pass protector scheme fit, that is still a gigantic boost to the run block department. We also could look at the 95 strength that Tyron Smith has, and that would represent a plus nine to our current starting left tackle strength. We could look at his 94 run block finesse, which would be plus 18 to our right tackle, Lorenzo Riddick's pass, or sorry, run block finesse, plus 18 run block finesse. And lastly, we're gonna look at the 92 pass block power, which would represent plus 15 to Alonzo Riddick. Again, our scheme fit, is for pass protectors, so that could represent a massive upgrade as well as improving our scheme fit. We also have at the other tackle spot here from the Patriots, Mike Owenu, and he has his 97 run block power. That could represent a plus 28 upgrade to our current right tackles run block power, Lorenzo Riddick, or plus 26 to NPF, our current starting left tackles run block power. Lastly, on the offensive line, we're going to take a look at right guard Shaq Mason and his 96 run block power. So to either one of our tackles, be it Fitzpatrick, who's our right guard, or AVT, Elijah Vera Tucker, who's our left guard, that 96 run block power is both a plus 22 on either player. 
There's only really one guy in the entirety of the defense that has some pretty juiced up abilities. And that is Stefan Gilmore. Who's, you know, he's get up there in age a little bit, but still a really good player. We're going to look at his 90 zone, which would be plus four for Sauce Gardner. It's moderate, but it, it, it's enough. Or plus 25 zone coverage to Andrew Booth, who is our current corner two. Now, it is worth noting that our defensive scheme is man-to-man, -man, so going crazy on the zone is not going to probably be a huge needle mover. But anytime we talk about a plus 25 upgrade to any player, let alone your corner two, it is worth mentioning. Or we could look at his 92 press, which kind of, you know, press man fits a little bit more of what we're looking for. His 92 press would represent a plus 12 upgrade to Andrew Booth, who is a starter's press man coverage so there you go fellas those are all the potential monsters upgrades for the new england patriots that we can get and apply to our players ahead of the super bowl as always there's a lot of little upgrades there i will post and pin them in the comment section below so that you guys can make the most informed suggestion all right final let's see what we're taking on in the super bowl and it is going to be the 13 and 4 vancouver grizzlies taking on the 11 and 6 Green Bay Packers. But that is for another episode, guys. Make sure you vote in the comment section below about what Monsters upgrade you want to see. And that'll do it for me today. If it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4. Say peace.